Tally hey there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'll be showing you a more advanced way how to install Windows 10. I'm doing this on a Dell XPS 15. If you're familiar with your BIOS you'll be able to do the same thing on pretty much any other computer. Definitely a Dell XPS 13 as well. And then you're going to be installing Windows 10 on a new SSD or hard drive and we'll be going into BIOS and setting a few things up. So if you're not familiar with BIOS and that, just watch the video, see if it's above your skill level or not. It may not be, but I think it's fairly easy, so let's just crack on and get into it. Okay, first thing you want to do is locate your USB stick, stick it into your computer, and I formatted it. You don't have to format it, it's up to you. I formatted it FAT32 if you're interested in that. But you don't have to do it, it's going to wipe over that USB stick anyway. So once you've done that, just go to Google and type in Windows 10 ISO and it will take you directly to the Windows 10 ISO download page. Okay, now make sure you back up everything. Back up everything before you do this. Now press on download the tool and then once it's downloaded, you just run it. This is all time lapse, so it's going to take a lot longer than it actually shows on the screen here. So what you want to do now is just accept the terms. And um, once you accept the terms, you want to create a media for another PC. So create installation media for another PC. So now what you want to do is select the appropriate windows for your system. So you want to select your language and select 64-bit or 32-bit. If you're using the computer that you're going to be installing Windows on, just click on this checkbox here and then click Next. Now, choose what you want, USB or ISO. You want to choose USB in this case. And once that's done, press Next. And let it go through the process here. And there you have it, you've created your USB media tool. So if this advanced method of installing Windows is a bit too hard for you, just go to my other video of how to install Windows the easiest way. That is really the simplest, easiest way to install Windows. So just check that video out. All right, first things first, for Dell XPS 15 owners or 13, you've got to update to the latest BIOS. So I will leave a card link on this video and I'll leave a link in the description on how to upgrade your BIOS. So check out that video if you haven't updated to the latest BIOS. This will be the same if you have another computer. Update to your latest BIOS. So you need the Wi-Fi driver for your computer. Make sure you download the Wi-Fi driver, go to Dell's website, download that or whatever computer you're using, download the Wi-Fi driver. Once you've upgraded the BIOS, we need to boot into that BIOS. And on the Dell XPS 15 and 13, the easiest way to boot into it is turn off the computer, turn it on, just keep pressing F2 and it will eventually boot into BIOS, okay? And once you get into BIOS, you'll be greeted by this screen. Now, if you have another computer, the BIOS will look different and the key you use to boot into your BIOS may be different, but it's pretty much the same. So once you're into the BIOS on this Dell XPS 15 or 13, you want to go to System Configuration and then SATA Operation. On the Dell XPS 15 and 13, I believe, the SATA Operation mode is right on. If you have a new SSD, say for example, a Samsung 950 Pro that's an NVMe drive, what you want to do is set the SATA Operation mode to AHCI. That will allow the SSD to run in its native mode, which if it's an NVMe drive, it'll run in that mode. So we want to change this from Radon to AHCI. Now before we do all this, you need to back up everything. You're doing this at your own risk. Once you change it from RAID to AHCI, it will not boot your system anymore until you install Windows again. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you've backed up. So anyway, let's just pretend you've put a new drive in or you have a blank drive or you just want to wipe over the drive that you've got on there. So we're going to set this to AHCI. And once you do that, it's going to give you a warning that it will not boot after you do this. You're going to have to reinstall the operating system, which, it, which we're going to do. So you go yes, and then you go to apply. 
You don't have to save this to custom settings. Just click OK and we're done here. And all you want to do is exit now. Once you exit, it'll shut down the computer. And once it's shut down, get your Windows installation USB stick, stick it into your Dell. Then start the Dell and keep pressing F12. Now F12 will set you into Boot Manager and then it will let you select where you want to boot from. And I'll just stress again, if your BIOS is not up to date, it might not show the, the USB stick here. Now what we want to do is locate our Windows installation USB stick. And in my case, it's UEFI TDK LOR. Now that's my installation media. I click on that and bang, it will boot from that, okay? So once it boots from that, it's gonna be greeted by this window here. All right, select your region, your language, whatever. Do all that. And on the Dell XPS 15 with the 4K screen, this window is gonna be really small. It's gonna be hard to see and it actually doesn't have a next. So you just press return or enter because it doesn't scale properly for some reason. And believe me, this is magnified. It is really a small box to do all this. So it's not gonna have a next. You just press enter and then it will continue. And then you just click on install now. So again here, this box hasn't scaled that well either. And you just wanna accept the license term, cl click the checkbox and then go next. And then here we, we do not want to upgrade, we wanna to go to custom installation. Now once you're into custom installation, if you have a new SSD in, on your computer, it's just gonna show one partition or one drive. And you just click on that and then install. If you have a previous version of Windows on the drive you're gonna install on, it may have several partitions. In this case, we wanna delete all these partitions. So all you do is select each one of them and delete each one of them one by one if you have multiple partitions there from a previous operating system. And note that if you're doing this on the standard SSD that come with your computer, it's gonna wipe all your hidden Dell recovery partitions. So remember that. If you've got a new drive, it's just going to be blank. You just click on the drive and go next. So once all your partitions are deleted, so then we just select the unallocated space because it actually won't have a partition there, but it'll just be unallocated space. And this is like as if you have a new hard drive now. And this is how it will be if you have a new hard drive. It'll just say unallocated space and that's what you click on and then you install. So you just select on that and then click next. And then it will go through the process of installing Windows. Then the computer will restart. And then you just go through the process of setting it up. So entering your name of your computer, your settings you want and so on and so forth. And basically that's it. You have a new, clean, fresh Windows installation. Now, you will have a lot of missing drivers if you're on a Dell XPS 15 or 13. So luckily you've already downloaded the Wi-Fi driver. That's the only one you really need. You can always go to the Dell website and install any Dell driver or software you want. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd like to thank you all for watching and until next time guys, tally ho. Tally. Tally ho, tally ho, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so done. I think I'm done.